nobody likes to be hated, to be bullied, and to be rejected by people. Nobody likes to be the object of being shanalang pinaginagawang katatawanan. We are hurt. We are hurt if we are uh, being mocked. Kansyaw nga lang, masakit na sa loob natin. And sometimes, kapag magbigay pa sila ng palayaw that, uh, that insults na nakaka-insult sa atin, we don't like it. We hate it. And that's the reality of following the Lord. That's the price. Those are the things that we need to embrace and accept. Those are the truths that we must understand that being a Christian is not a place, it's not a life of being exempted in these realities of life. The truth is, we will be the object of ridicule, we will be the object of hatred, we will be the object of mockery in the lives of all people. This is the testimony, uh, this is the testimony of uh, King David when he was there was a situation in his life where he became the object of hatred by the people. In the book of uh, Psalm chapter 22 where we are uh, studying this chapter, we saw the pain of David in his heart. We saw his hope in the Lord and how he handled those pains. And yet, Continuing to study the book of uh, Psalm chapter 22, especially in verse 6. Here is an expression of what he felt at that moment in time where he has been reje rejected and treated by the people as useless. Sabi niya, but I am a worm and not a man. And cursed by men and looked down on by the people. Sa isang uh, translation, sabi naman niya, for us, for me, I am only a worm and not a man, scorned by mankind and hated by people. Sabi sa King James, But I am a worm and no man, a reproach of men despised of the people. Sabi sa, uh, sa isang translation, But I am a worm. People insult me and despise me. Could you see how he, dito natin makikita yung, uh, yung puso ni David? Here we could see the pain and hatred and the betrayal of this man. Whom we thought he is a warrior. Yes, indeed, he is a warrior. But deep inside, warrior there is a deep struggle of who he is by the statement of the people. Tamang sabi nila, malit lang yung dila, pero nakakatakot ito. Mas grabe pa ito sa isang digmaan. Sa isang digmaan, pwede mong pwedeng ma pwedeng ma maalis yung sakit ng mga slice ng mochilyo at mga bala. Magiging marka na lang ng teklat yan. Pero kakaiba ang dila. Because for a lifetime, that small part of the body of man has the power to torture somebody in his lifetime until his last breath. This is the greatest torture that probably a man would experience. And that is to hear something, a word from the people whom you think you love, they love you, but actually in return, they hated you. You have loved these people, but in return, they hated you. You have protected these people, but in return, they will destroy you. You have uh, given your life for these people, but in return, the people don't like you in their sight. Sabi ni David sa 22 verse 6, But I am a worm. He considered himself as useless and not a man. It is just an expression ito, poetic expression, na sinasabi niya sa sarili niya, He is useless. He is being treated not as a man. His human right, the people hated him. The way they treated this man, they do not respect him. As he is. They spit in his name. They spit on his name. They spit on his reputation. And they hated David. He said, I am a worm. I am treated not as a man. I am treated as an animal. 
Mas wala ang respeto. These people whom I taught, they will love me because I have protected them. I have given my life for them. But right now, here are the people whom I have protected. They are the one destroying my life. And even just a simple, na kahit konti na lang na respeto, wala nang natira na ipakita man lang sa akin bilang tao. They cursed me. They speaks about, they speaks anything that will degrade me, na nakakaya at masakit. And they curse, my, they curse me, my life, my future, and my everything. They speak anything na nakakaya at masakit sa akin. They look down on me. They despise me. Everybody hated me. And it breaks my heart. Tuloy pa natin dito sa verse 7. Here we see, sabi niya, All they see, all they see me, laugh me to scorn. All the people looking at me are laughing at me. Sabi niya, tamtamim, buti nga sa'yo. These people who use their lips to destroy me and even to say, wala kang pupuntahan. Useless, wala kang silbi. These are the words that we don't like to hear, right? These are the words that we don't like to hear from the employees, from our employers. These are the words that we do not like to listen from other people. Even Kai David, from the very people whom he had protected, these are the words that they said to this man who loved and protected them in their, in their lives. One time they have appreciated it. They have been so happy for him. But the time it comes, all that is in their mouth is cursed, hatred, and degrading that destroys his reputation. And even just a simple glimpse of respect, wala man lang silang pinakita. Nakakasakit ito. Nakakansulto ito. These people whom you've loved will turn their back. That's a painful one. But yet, sabi ni David sa verse 8, He put his faith in the Lord. Let the Lord be the Savior now. Let the Lord be his Savior because he delights in him. On this, on this situation that I'm having, that I'm experiencing, in this situation where I'm being left alone, in this situation where I, th I feel that these people have turned their back on me, my Lord, I will trust in you. I will trust in your deliverance. I will trust in your rescue because you know my heart that I have loved you. This is the assurance of those people who love the Lord. That God will avenge his people. Oh, my brothers, may the heart of this man be with us, be likened to us. May the heart of this man be reflected also in us. A full trust in the living God, in the situation where all have betrayed and hated him. My brothers in the Lord, be strong. God bless you, my brothers.